You eating bananas? Say hey guys! Say welcome back to another vlog! <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to our channel for another vlog. Of course, I closed the curtains and Barkley wants to go outside. So, it is the weekend, at least in my world, my weekend starts Friday during the day. I don't wait till after work hours because we just know Friday is, you know, set for our weekend. So, really weird. The week went by so fast. The girls were both on spring break, so there was no school. There was no, um, you're buckled up. Sorry, Bella's playing dress up, so she needed to be buckled in the back. There was no dance, so this week went by super, super crazy. So crazy, in fact, that I didn't know what day it was, and we actually, instead of ending the vlog on, sorry, Barkley, get out of there. Instead of um, ending the vlog on Thursday, we ended up ending it on Wednesday. And then yesterday came and I'm like, today's Thursday and we ended the vlog last night. So that's how crazy it was. But Paul was mostly working this week, but he had Wednesday and Thursday off. So he decided to work on our kitchen. So um, we got our handles in. So that was Wednesday's project. And then yesterday's project was the trim above the cabinet. So I got some hot messy hair going on over here. Um, I'm due for a wash and I was just, I'm like, oh, I'll just do it later when the kids are in bed. But yeah, so we did the trim. So I did not get a chance to put away my stuff in the upper cabinets because he's like, you know what? He had to do something and you'll actually see in our remodeling series vlog that he actually had to do double work. So it took him a little longer to do the trim up there for a reason. And we ended up not doing something that we were, that came with the cabinets. Um, so I didn't get to put any of the dishes in because he said when he had a drill, it was gonna get dusty in there and then all my dishes would be dirty. So I'm like, you know what, that's fine. So I just didn't do any of the uppers. And then he set everything for me to finish the lowers and I was just, he was just doing the uppers yesterday and I'm like, I can't finish going in the lower cabinets to organize because the ladder was in front of him and the ones that I already did, he wasn't by, and the ones that I needed, I'm like, uh, I'm like, so yesterday was a wash. So my goal today is to finish all the lowers because I just have the kids' dishes I think I'm gonna put in a lower drawer and our um, Tupperware in a lower drawer. So I just have to figure out that. And then the upper cabinets with their dishes and our glassware and our coffee mugs and our serving trays, I know I wanna put on my one side, but then the side over where the pantry is and the stove, I don't know what I'm gonna put in there. There might not be anything in there for a while because I do have stuff packed away in the garage still kitchen wise of things that we really didn't need when we moved out of the condo. I just pack stuff that I'm like, oh, I don't need this right now. You know, if we don't sell the condo for six months, I still don't need it. So that stuff's in there. But I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with my air fryer. And well, I know like that kind of stuff, I'm gonna leave in the laundry room, but I have blenders and I have, Paul bought me a really nice blender and a really nice juicer for Christmas. They're still in the box because I didn't wanna open it knowing that the kitchen was gonna be done. And of course, like it took a little bit longer to get the cabinets than we were supposed to. So my goal is to put them somewhere inside of a cabinet. So I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna do that. Now, my goal is to get like nothing on the counters. And so far, I mean, we have, I have tons, tons more cabinet space. I at least have, I have like one new drawer and then I have one, two, three, four, four cabinets that are, I never had before. I have two cabinets that are above the microwave that I never even used before because the previous owners, like the cabinets that they were, they were disgusting above the microwave. So I was, I just never used it knowing that we were gonna get new cabinets. But then I have six 
long drawers instead of cabinet space. But I know my pots and pans and my, um, I cannot remember the name, the white baking dishes with the ridges, those that I bake in, I would, I, they were spread out in my cabinet so I could see them. You're so cute. Um, so now that's all on the Lazy Susan, so it's actually taking up like half the space it did because I, the way that I have everything laid out. So I just, I have more space. So my plan was to put all the overstock in the laundry room. I don't know if I'm gonna need it. So I'm gonna figure that out. Um, maybe at least I could put like the seasonal stuff in the laundry room and then if I can get like the air fryer and all that stuff, that would be awesome. But I wanna mostly put all that stuff in the cabinet. So I have out right now is my coffee pot obviously the paper towel roll. I have one container um, that holds all of my spatulas and wooden spoons and everything that would be needed to be cooked on the stove top. I have that. I don't have my twirly one anymore. I got rid of that one. So I've got that's gone. And then I have the conventional oven right now. I know for sure the KitchenAid's going on the bottom of my island and then the flour pot, uh, like the flour sugar, those containers, Paul's like, oh, that can go on the counter too. Or he's like, maybe put it underneath the island. I don't know if I want it underneath the island yet. I haven't decided if I want it on the counter or if I want it on the island. I'm gonna see what one looks better. And that's all I have right now. And I think the only other thing I put on the countertop before was the Instapot. So I don't know if I'm gonna put that up there again because I don't use that every single day. Stuff that we use like every single day, like the coffee pot, the wooden spoon stuff, and the conventional oven pretty much, I wanted that out. So, um, oh, you don't think that's a good idea? Yeah. Oh, okay. You gonna tell me how to what to put where? Are you gonna help me? Oh, I know, you want the curtain back open. But there's a glare on the camera, they can't see. <laughs> but yeah, no, so I'm gonna do that and I don't know. I'm just, I'm so excited. We actually, very, very, very first time because the kitchen's still been like in shambles, we use like the dishwasher's finally hooked up because. You really want that curtain open, don't you? I'll open it in one minute. Okay. No, um, we made tacos last night and we prepped everything on the island bar and oh my goodness, it was so convenient, so awesome. I put the bowls out of, to serve everything. We made our own tacos and it was just, Paul and I were like, like, I just, oh, it was awesome. So really cool. But yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do today is do that. Did not get to the garage like I wanted to this week having Riley home because I don't want to be in the garage going through boxes when the two little ones are up. So I might have to have a new plan and do that when Mason's down for relax slash nap time because Bella, she's really good. She'll come in the garage with me and she'll actually help me. Um, but it was just one, it was too cold. Like it was freezing. I don't even want to be in the garage. And then two, my focus was the kitchen. So gonna have to wait on another day for that, but I need to get the garage done by Easter. Well, Greek Easter, because we're gonna have Greek Easter in our garage, because it's earlier this year and we have a heat garage, so if it's cold outside or rainy, we have the garage to keep us warm and dry. So yeah, so I'm just going to do that today. The kids are gonna bum. I know um, the girls have some CCD work to work on. Riley has her online lessons, and then they have to do their family lessons. They have the one that they have to do. So I'm gonna have them do that and I'm just gonna put my kitchen together and hopefully I'll actually be able to put my coffee bar together too. Um, oh, actually, you know what? I forgot. Not only do I have one more drawer, I actually have three more drawers because the island has drawers. So I've got a lot of, a lot of stuff, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna do that. And get everything done my goal is to do everything in a, in a couple hours I don't want to spend all day on doing the kitchen but I knew where I want everything so hopefully it'll take me be pretty quick
too much happened yesterday. I, at least filming wise. So I actually did a lot of filming for our kitchen remodel series and our, um, well, my organization video on the kitchen. So I got pretty much everything done. Paul came home early from work yesterday. So he kind of like overtook the right side. So I couldn't finish putting everything in the cabinets, but I really don't have much left to do. I just have to do containers and the kids like sippy cups and dishes and stuff like that for the younger ones. But I'm gonna work on that later today. And then I just want to have this kitchen like organize how I want to have everything set up like on the counters or anything like underneath the island that kind of stuff because everything else I have kitchen wise is packed away in the garage so as soon as I pull a box out that's when it's going to go away so pretty much on the right side of my kitchen and the upper cabinets I have nothing in there at all so that's okay for now because I like I said I just want to have as least amount in these cabinets right now and then when I pull other things I might rearrange might not but I still have the pantry to do unfortunately I can only do the top because the bottom I still don't have the pull-out drawers so I don't want to put the shelves in and then have to retake it out I don't know it's we were supposed to have it a week ago and then we're still waiting on the spice racks um drawer they just ordered that for us and then the doors that go underneath the um kitchen sink so more kitchen organization today hopefully gonna finish it and then right now me and her me and the, this little one over here we're actually getting ready to go to the vet so i'm leaving in a couple minutes to go take her for her yearly checkup and then i'm just gonna come home and i think i'm gonna surprise the kids with mcdonald's for breakfast because it's really really early the little ones are sleeping riley's just hanging out um getting ready for the day so i'm gonna go to the vet come home and more kitchen organization those for you? No. Oh no, they're not for you? They're for him. They're for you. <laughs> oh, I gotta turn the camera off while you eat? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. We'll do, okay, look, oh, it's, it's off. Yeah. You want a hot brown, hot brown. Uh oh. That one is for me. What she got? Uh, <laughs> Brown. <gasps> yeah. No, just ah. you can give it to him. Go. What do you say? You say thank you. They say thank you. You can throw the. She can throw the wrapper out. You say thank you. Yeah, baby. Oh, is that the best You're part? Welcome. Oh, is it good? You're very welcome, Mason. Is it good? Oh, this sure. What'd you get? Mm, you have to see. Oh, I have to see. We got chipped on uh, syrup, though. Yeah. We got dripped. We got chipped. What'd you get? Pancakes. Ooh. And what's this? A biscuit. A Should biscuit. we say? Save that for later. And a hat. Wrong. Is that your favorite? Yeah. Mine too. It smells good. <laughs>
are you going? Oh, me, team partner, and I. I'm gonna get you! <laughs> raging party last night. Wrestlemania was on. I love wrestling. So we were watching wrestling um, day one and today's day two for Wrestlemania but it was so fun because like I'm not a gambler but DraftKings has this free pool where you can like guess um, everything. So I did that yesterday and I got 18 out of 14 right. I'm so mad because a couple of the picks I was gonna pick I should have picked him, so I probably would have got like an extra like two or three points. But did it again for tonight. It's just I just like I love guessing things and like trying to figure things out. So I did that for, and then there was another one for Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar that I did that. But I'm so mad because I've been waking up every day this week at like five o'clock um, with Paul because he has to. He's been going to work, and I knew I knew. Um, when I was sitting at the kitchen table, I was playing Sudoku and we were all chit chatting. We ordered some beef fried rice and chicken fried rice from a hapachi place um, and made some food. But uh, I, I sat downstairs and as soon as I sat downstairs, the last match was um, Stone Cold Steve Austin, which I was like waiting for that. So it was Paul and then Kevin Owens and waiting for that match, waiting for that match, sat downstairs to watch it laid on the couch was wide awake kevin owens was just like rambling with his mouth next thing i know it was two o'clock in the morning so we not only did i fall asleep paul fell asleep at the same time so we have no idea what happened with that match so we're gonna have to be watching a little bit before we watch day two um and then the girls all fell asleep mason obviously was already in bed but we all fell asleep so they said that they were watching it and they fell asleep at like 11. i'm like oh my gosh i'm like that's crazy so we're a little little uh we're not even tired we're just we got a good night's sleep but it was just like crazy that we you know we were watching wrestling and we have fun because it's like a little like um you know it's just like another like um super bowl we like to have a party this year they, i don't remember last year if they did two days but i love when they do it on saturday because on sunday you can like you know still do whatever and not wait to watch the matches on sunday but um this year they're doing it yeah two days but tradition as we always order Chinese food but we just didn't have a taste for Chinese food so we just ordered you know, hibachi rice and just watched it and we didn't do other things so it's just not in the background like I was playing Sudoku so but yeah it was nice fun so I can't wait for number two so today I didn't really do self-care Sunday I did but I didn't I just put some eye patches on my eyes were a little puffy um allergies are kicking our butts over here so I did some like depuffing eye patches and then I just I got this new tool that has like um some like little like prickly things all over um so it's to help like find your lines and I do notice that like like my forehead up here is completely different so this tool I've only used it like I think three times it really works it's recommended you only use it once a week um because it's that strong because it's like needles going all over your face but if you have sensitive skin you do it only once a month so I like I said I've been doing it like three times so I did that at least this morning but I think I'm gonna change things up and while we're watching WrestleMania, I think I'm going to go ahead and put my face masks on during WrestleMania. Just because we're now, hopefully I won't sleep, fall asleep with masks on. That'd be kind of bad. But yeah, we're just spending time as a family. Kids are playing Roblox. You can hear them already gone crazy down there. I had to come upstairs in my room. Oh, I think Barkley's trying to come up there. I can hear her. She's right here by the door because I'm upstairs. Um, yeah, I'm just relaxing tonight. I love Sundays. It's family time. 
It's me. Come on here. Yeah. See, she loves it. Come here. See, it's just me. Crazy dog. Um, she's not really a barker. Um, but yeah. So just love families. Uh, family day on Sunday. Relaxing. Try not to do anything. Getting recuperated for the week. I'm actually planning. Um, since now the kitchen's pretty much like done, minus the backsplash and painting. It's fine. Um, I put mostly everything that I use daily away besides the pantry because like I said still waiting for those um, pull out drawers so everything I need to like cook and prep and everything is all put together so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually start a nutrition plan tomorrow I want to get back in the swing of things and then I'm actually going to start working out I actually um it was hard for me to start it was hard for me to work out in my office because there just wasn't any room and that's where all my equipment is. So Paula has to move that stuff for me and then I'm gonna start working out. There's this new, um, I was trying to tone for the summer. Um, there's a new program on the Lean with Lily app. I like love her programs. It's, they're different. The food's different. Um, it's, it's like, it's like a fun lifestyle instead of like being like very restricted. So I think I'm gonna pause on tone it up for a little bit and then do the lean with Lily. They're coming out with a new, she has two new trainer, two new trainers. One is like specifically like toning and sculpting and the other one's completely hit. So the one that's toning and sculpting, she's got a four week program starting tomorrow. And I think I'm gonna do that. And then the other thing is, supposedly she's supposed to have like a nutrition plan. I looked on the app, it's not there yet. Um, so I am just, one second honey. So I'm just gonna go ahead and probably set that up today. And then, yeah, just get back into the swing of things this week. <laughs> Key, relaxing family day. Yeah. Kids have been playing video games. You saw us playing Sudoku. Paul has been yeah. napping. Napping. Yeah. You gotta come on the side. Yeah. Not with the Robin. So we just got done eating yeah. dinner. Yeah. And guess what? Yeah. I was eating ramen. I know we had ramen. I, I had chicken ramen. Yep. Yeah. So I'm going to quickly, quickly end this vlog because we are actually watching day two of WrestleMania. And it's already started and we're already like really into it. So don't forget to like this video, give it a big this thumbs up, up, subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time in the next video. Bye.